Well, this is the way my dad used to tell the story to me, and I'll tell it to you the same way. Only it's not Cinderella, it's Rendersella. <laughs> now, gong time ago, in a corn country, there lived a beautiful girl, and her name was Rendersella. <laughs> Rendersella lived with her muggly other and two sad blisters. <laughs> also, in this same corn country, there was very prancing hints. And this prancing hints was going to give a bancy fall. So he invited the people for Riles Amount, especially the pitch reaple. <laughs> he was stancing, he wasn't hooping. <laughs> so Rendersella's Muggly other and her two sad blisters went to the mall work to write some drancy fesses to wear to this bancy fall. But Rendersella couldn't go because all she had to wear was some old dirty dags from the Thrine Stiff Blower. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the night of the bancy fall arrived, Rendersella couldn't go, so she just cat down and sighed. <laughs> and she was kitten there and sighing when all of a sudden there was a smuff of poke. And there stood her Gary Mudfather. <laughs> and he touched her with his wagic mand. <laughs> which is illegal in 17 states. <laughs> and there appeared before her a kick boach and Hicks White sources to take her to the Bancy Fall. But he said, now, Rendersella, you be sure and be home before Nidmite or I'll pump you into a turnkin. <laughs> Well, when Rendersella arrived at the Bancy Fall, the Prancing Hens met her at the door because he had been watching from behind a wooden hen and he thought she was the greediest pearl in the place. <laughs> so Rendersella and the Prancing Hens danced all night. And they lell in fove. <laughs> then all of a sudden, the mid clock struck night. Rendersella staced down the rares and just as she beats the rodham, she slopped her dripper. <laughs> you know what that's like, don't you, Bill? So the next day, this prancing hens went all over this corn country looking for the beautiful girl who had slopped her dripper. Finally, he came to render Sella's house. Well, he tried it on her muggly other and it fit and dit. Then he tried it on her two sigly esters and it fit and dit. Then he tried it on render Sella and it fit dit. It was exactly the sight rise. So they were married and lived heavily after Hapwards. But the story of the Mori is this. If you ever go to a Bancy Fall and you want to have a Pransom Hensel all in fove with you, don't forget to slop your dripper. 